Hey folks, welcome back. This is part two, uh, Sunday the 12th. Uh, this morning we covered the march uh, for National Remembrance Day and that march went from the Cenotaph uh, via Horse Guards Road to Horse Guards Parade Ground. Walking back toward Horse Guards this afternoon, having had lunch, uh, lots of fine looking fellows around. Uh, and the reason I'm coming back is that although Horse Guards was closed this morning, uh, no troopers, no horses, Everything was fundamentally sealed. This entire central area, uh, which is still closed, uh, was completely out of bounds this morning. Um, no one was getting anywhere close to the cenotaph uh, unless they had a ticket. It was a ticketed well, event, as it always is. But you notice there are lots of lovely people uh, wearing lots and lots of medals. Uh, walking around the pubs up uh, at Trafalgar Square, have been doing a roaring trade this afternoon, and rightly so. Lots and lots of sailors. Uh, at the Admiralty pub on Leicester Square, uh, <laughs> the very appropriately named Admiralty pub up on Trafalgar Square. Okay, so as we approach back towards Horse Guards, we can see that we do indeed have the King's Guard. Booze and Royals, everybody, is still here. Uh, they've been here since Friday. And indeed, they are still here. And why is that a good thing? Well, it's a good thing because. Whitehall's close to traffic, so it's almost eerily armistice silent. Almost, not quite, but almost, yep. Let's see what happens in the, in the last hour here, um, between me just having arrived, obviously, and uh, the four o'clock inspection. Something might happen, lots of things might happen. Conversely, absolutely nothing at all might happen. One never knows, it's part of the fun. A little bit, a little bit squishy trying to get through, through the tourists. So we've got barriers along the edge of the road. Quiet, quiet, or literally, yeah. oh, nice, nice timing. <laughs> okay, so just talking with um, with Busco. Apparently, they only just, literally, only just reopened it. Uh, so they've got the horses here. Uh, no guards inside. I have absolutely no idea if the yard is open, but it doesn't look as though it is uh, to me. Now, what does that mean? Does that mean that we will have a four o'clock? Possibly. Um, it's all going to depend on whether the back gets opened up or not. And that is something that, you know what, I don't even think at this point the, uh, the police know. That'll come from London District when they're good and ready to open it back up again. That said, we've got a pending changeover, everybody. Um, the three o'clock is in yep, the clock. Uh, exactly five and a half minutes. Now, whether or not they bring out uh, new horses is not in doubt. They'll definitely change over the horses. Um, I don't know about the foot guards. If they only came out 30 minutes ago, uh, as Buster kindly just told me, yeah, it's anyone's guess. But it's a great thing to see there's still tourists coming up from Whitehall, uh, taking pictures with the King's horses and the guards at either end. I see that as being a huge positive, personally. Why? Because all day long there have been many, many tens of thousands of people along Whitehall for today's service, and they were not able to get pictures with uh, with the horses or with the guards because they weren't here. Yeah, the horse guards was completely locked down. Um, but the main reason for that wasn't so much of any issue potentially at the front here. It was really because the parade ground at the back uh, is where all of the veterans uh, and indeed the uh, the household division that's where they formed up after they finished at the cenotaph and made their way down horse guards road to the parade ground uh, and i know that because as you can see from today's first video folks uh, i was there i filmed the entire march if none of you have seen it yet it was quite a sight to behold there are ten thousand men and women uh, primarily uh, retired service personnel some active duty uh, in that magnificent parade and uh, they waited until the king's car had left uh, and then proceeded along, uh, along Whitehall before going to Horse Cars Road it was honestly a bit hit and miss this morning with that a um, couple reasons why lots of people had arrived hoping even very early around 9am uh, to be able to get a spot close to the cenotaph what almost everybody didn't know is that 
those seats anywhere around the cenotaph where, for example, His Majesty the King, uh, the Prince and Princess of Wales, etc., were. That area is ticketed. It's, it's for senior military personnel um, and retired veterans only. So uh, there were a lot of disappointed faces, unfortunately, this morning. Um, I think that was exacerbated. The disappointment was exacerbated somewhat by the fact that it was pretty dreary. Okay, it really was quite dreary. Here we've got a lovely, uh, lovely fellow, veteran with a poppy. It's a real squish here, everyone, because um, because of those barriers that are still behind me, a real squish. Give that chance. Seen some movement in the yard. Uh, troopers in now. I have no idea if that equals um, the yard open though. That's uh, the big unknown. We'll see. I'm wondering which uh, tri socked fluffy beast of a horse this one is. If any, can you, any of you can remember which one, it looks massively like Monty, it's not Monty guys, this so uh, horse has three fluffy socks uh, and only the most modest of blazers if, uh... oh, he's pushing out of the way, look. <laughs> 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 The camera up a little high, guys, because so many people are going to walk past me because there's no room. <laughs> Seaman here, guys. Naval officer. It's like quite a while actually, guys, since, uh, since I've been here. Um, I know this, this place was open briefly yesterday um, after the service in the morning, uh, but by that time most people had already left. It was not a busy afternoon here yesterday. So it's, uh, it's nice to be back when it's uh, super busy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. She's come out. So let me let me ask him. Yep, the yard definitely staying closed until four. In there we are. Yeah, yeah. You're not going to do a four. Yeah, we're doing four o'clock. So. Oh yeah, but yeah. behind closed gates. Oh, yeah. Nice, can I ask you to get behind the bollards, please? Oh, okie dokie, everybody. A couple of horses doing crowd control today. Uh, there will be. Um, Sir, behind the bollards, please. Behind the bollards. There will be a four o'clock, but the four o'clock today apparently uh, is going to be behind closed gates. That's what I'm hearing. Um, makes sense. I mean, they've only got now. They're changing the horses over now anyway, and that is the most important thing. So new horses coming. Uh, this lovely guard has finished uh, for the weekend, and I'm sure she is delighted about that. Apparently, though, um, I'm not sure if you picked that up. Uh, the decision to not reopen the yard uh, was taken by the police. Am I reading that right? It was the police that decided not to reopen the yard. Or well, because you got the um, Welsh flag on that. Oh, it's still ongoing. Ah. Wow, damn, it's been a busy day here today, isn't it? Crazy busy. Yeah, th no, this isn't true. Uh, which, which horse is... is uh, <coughs> Wait, this is tight? Wait, so this is the first time Tidy's ever been in the box at the front? 
No, no. he's not yesterday. Ah, see that, but yesterday was the first time. Well, well I know, he's been boxing before. But I've, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen him. Yeah, excuse me. Yeah? Oh, wow, well, damn, I'm super glad I, <laughs> I came down to see Yeah? They're happy, good day. Yeah, he's it, yeah. yeah, I bet. You want to come out here with me, but I'm like, no, you need to wait. <laughs> he wants to hold the stick. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. So guys, would you believe, uh, by absolute luck, this big fluffy beast, and I'm a bit disappointed in myself for not recognizing him, it's probably because, as I mentioned, I've never, ever what? seen that horse in the box, okay? The enormous horse with the Lady Trooper with three white socks is the one and only uh, 18 hands Titan, okay? There he is, clopping back slowly into the stables. He is the single largest horse in the Blues of Royals, yeah, Titan. That's uh, the Blues of Royals version of Overlord, folks, who we did see here, um, very briefly, that is, uh, the week before last, I think it was, and the two weeks ago or three weeks ago. Gosh, that was a real pleasure. This is why I'm thinking, hold on, why does that horse look so familiar? But at the same time, it's 100% not Monty. That makes sense, actually. Now, hey, we've got another beauty. I was about to say it's indigo, but no, it's not indigo. It has the same majestic sort of, you know what? Don't mess with me, pose as indigo. Is the biggest horse in the whole region world that we never saw before. Yeah, 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 that's the biggest horse. I didn't even realise Titan that horse is called. I'm sure some of them are quite short. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're a bit of a mix. It's a kind of a Shire thoroughbred Irish draft mix. Ones that have like dinner plate feet. Some of them do like Shire. I'm not going to get bridge on, so I look like. Those big fluffy socks. Yeah. <laughs> some of them are like Shire. Some of them are like Shire. Yeah, big difference though between this one and the one that was just here a minute ago. You were around this morning, or did you be coming in this afternoon? Oh, I've got some footage around here and that. I've got a ride from the TV side for that cuisine. Yeah, it was round, and that was a proper round. Okay, so they are changing over, guys. They're changing over the uh, Chitsman and the Gatesman, still, it being three o'clock. However, as you can see, it's behind not quite closed gates. I mean, they're closed in the sense that no one's allowed to get in. Uh, but they are changing them over. That's quite quite a sight, in fact, but, but uh, beyond the officers. Let's wait for that Gatesman and Chitsman. If I zoom in past the officers, you can see the Gatesman and Chitsman changing over in the distance. That's the Lance Corporal giving the, uh, the commands. I'm also hearing um, whistles behind me, uh, which leads one to believe there's a VIP, possibly the Prime Minister, uh, imminently about to arrive here on Whitehall. Quite possibly going back to 10 Downing Street. Let's have a quick peek, see who it is. Seeing the, uh, the police outriders. I can't see everyone, whether it's the Prime Minister or not. Let's have a quick look. Ministerial uh, motor code. Makes sense, it's heading, yeah, it is heading toward Downey Street. Interesting. Uh, couldn't really see through the windows, obviously. Why? Reflection of the buildings. But yes, that was uh, Mr. Sunak. One second, let me uh, get the guard's head back in the frame. There we are. So the two guards that we have here now on horseback, this is their last shift, not only of the day, but of the week. I'm actually happy that um, the tourists, some tourists, that would have only come into London today for the remembrance service, uh, got to have their pictures. <laughs> this fluffy beauty as well, look. Definitely slept a bit funny this one. I think this horse just woke up at around 2.57 then saw 
thought to him or herself, oh my God, I need to be on duty in two minutes. I completely forgot to brush his hair. Hey, are you, I'm talking to you. Don't glare at me like that. Is that what are you talking about? I didn't forget to brush it. It's always like that. Okay, I'm going to move away now because I made the horse feel a bit shy talking about his hair. Some of the horses are very sensitive when it comes to discussion about uh, their haircuts. Oh, see, this one's a little bit more perky. He's like, I brushed my hair this morning and this afternoon. I'm sorry, guys, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, like, uh, people ask if, uh, if it's okay to go past because they don't want to spoil the, uh, the video. Super thoughtful. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> she needs longer arms. <laughs> Oopsie. They do until the horses lose it and run around, and that yeah. happens quite a lot. I wouldn't, I wouldn't let my kid get that close, no way. I'm local, I just popped over. I watched it on the television, it was very good. It was, yeah. Yeah, yeah it was a lovely, uh, lovely service good. this morning. The organisation must take... They start on the, on Thursday night, overnight Thursday, laying all of this out ready for, for uh, yesterday and then today. A remarkable operation. Yeah. Very much so. But it goes all around the world. All Abs around the world. Absolutely, yeah, and so it should. You've got some good pictures? I can't complain, yeah, when <laughs> have a good day. Take care, bye. Thank you. Okay, here comes the King's Guard. This is the first time I've seen the guard doing his or her rounds. Uh, not just today, but this weekend. Okay, King's Guard versus Veteran. I'm pretty sure uh, that he wouldn't shout at the Veteran. <laughs> Safely back in. I wonder if it's a little bit lonely actually to be um, to be on duty in the arches on a day like today. And the reason I'm thinking that is because fundamentally there's no one in the yard, so time is going to go by very, very, very slowly. Uh, speaking of which, guys, I will be back. Um, I might need to pause the video in a minute or two. Uh, somebody that I know that's just arrived. I don't know who it is, but we've got, um, I think it's somebody that's had uh, quite a lot to drink today. He's out over there in the, uh, in the high vis singing, singing hymns to, uh, to the king. I'm not sure which king, but a king. <laughs> that's one would expect, I guess. A lot of merry people are out today because uh, it's been a day of celebration. Uh, and of course, a lot of people have rightly um, earned an afternoon in the pub. And why not? I was briefly tempted myself, guys. I'm not going to lie. I was very briefly tempted. Uh, another important thing to mention today uh, is that somebody that we all know very, very well <clears throat> so Corporal Force, who's here this weekend. Uh, this will be his last time here this year. Uh, for two reasons. Here he is. I'm not going to film his lovely family because that's a private moment. Uh, two reasons why. One, um, it's the last weekend for the Blues uh, for a little while. And secondly, uh, next month, uh, as a lot of you already know, the yard area inside the main gates here uh, will be renovated, repaired. Okay. So it's going to be dug up and lots and lots of uh, bits and bobs are going to be dealt with in there. 
So it's kind of appropriate, actually, that uh, given the fact we're almost at the end of an era um, in terms of horse guards uh, being somewhat upgraded. I'm not quite sure it, I would class it as an upgrade. I mean, I say somewhat upgraded because they are primarily lifting up to, to deal with what's underneath it. In other words, you know, cabling, ducts, wiring, that kind of stuff. Um, it's for multiple reasons, uh, CCTV, security, comms, etc. All of it needs to be brought from the uh, 18th and 19th centuries into the 21st century. So definitely long overdue. And it's a great thing that that's going to get done during the closure. It's a pity because so many of you wanted, myself included actually, uh, to see the guards on duty in their cloaks on Christmas Day. Um, not just because, to the best of my knowledge, there's no footage of that that exists. I don't think anyone in history has ever got any footage of the guards here on Christmas Day uh, in their cloaks, ideally in the snow. Uh, something we all want to see, myself, you viewers, the other streamers and people that record here. So hopefully, even if we don't manage to get it in the next couple of weeks uh, here at Horse Guards, because of the closure, we should get it, all being well. Um, next year, year after, 2027, at some point, we will get it. Taurus having a lot of fun with the horse. And it's actually a good thing because the light, we're losing the light. The light's going down pretty quickly here. It'll be virtually dark long before uh, that inspection at four o'clock. Um, it is going to be behind closed gates, however, I think it will still be possible to watch it and potentially uh, to record it using, you know, super zoom through the gates. So that will be my goal. Bear in mind it's quarter past now. So let's see what happens. If it gets quiet here, I will pause this video and then resume it um, as I'm about to shoot, if I can shoot, the four o'clock inspection. So if I'm back for that, I am. If I'm not, um, then I'm not. We will see. It's a teeny weeny bit awkward uh, to actually get a, a spot to stop in simply because of the fact that the entire walkway behind me is very, very narrow. It's wide enough for only two people. Happy to be in front of the bollard for a little while. Let's see uh, who comes along to pose with this beautiful horse. The Cobbler horse did kindly tell me the name of this horse, but it went one in, one out. It, blah, blah, blah. I always mispronounce that. It went in one ear and out of the other. Oh, wait, what's she trying to do? Oh, it's her family say, saying don't so. She didn't even do anything wrong, bless her. She didn't actually do anything wrong, that lady. <laughs> her family are reprimanding her, saying you can't touch. Hope she's back. <laughs> Ready to try again, bless her. You are allowed to touch the horse. <laughs> oh wow, the biggest poppy I've ever seen. Look at this amazing size poppy. That is incredible. In fact, is that the world's biggest poppy? Lots of people saying in different comments on other videos, primarily on TikTok, hey, didn't see many poppy people wearing poppies this year. What a nonsense. Every other person I've seen has been wearing a poppy. Uh, and it's not age or gender specific either. Lots and lots of poppy wearing people. That poppy's massive, guys. I should have bought a poppy like that to put on my uh, on my lapel. Ah, the only other way I was going to ask them where they got the poppy from. Let's see, one second. Okay, here comes the uh, the guard. I 
Oh, good Lord, we've got some people coming along at the other end. I'm not sure who they are. One second, they've got a, a minor police escort. Guards just finished. Is it really? Yeah. You know what? Yep, that's what we have uh, on the other side of Whitehall. Silent. Silent and uh, I'm not making all the noise. Hope it doesn't freak out the horses when they come past. guys the camera decided to stop for some odd reason anyway yeah silently walking along just going past the raffles hotel interesting is it really yeah I thought the it was completely closed and supposed that I was walking along to the right. Every year that they do it, they weird ask you. They do it, so how many people they must ask. What was that, a, a, do a dozen? A dozen people? They do it. Oh dear. They were not here yesterday, they were they? No, no, yeah, no. okay, good. Well. I don't know they had the inner foods and the sunset people. Unbelievable, isn't it? I didn't think anyone was allowed to walk along the centre. So how the hell did they get in there to be able to walk along? No, they're doing a demonstration. You're legally allowed to demonstrate. So they go on demonstration balls. So that's a peaceful assembly of a demonstration. You're legally allowed to do that. We just try that, in fact, sort of uh, de de YouTubers' demonstration walking along the centre. Oh, what was that? One second, that was a very loud noise behind. What's that? Do you hear that? that they are going to level that floor out, they're I have absolutely no idea. I mean, they'd need to dig up every cobble probably and replace them exactly as they were. I think it's more about what's underneath the cabling than actually redoing the surface. Apparently as well, they're getting an archaeologist uh, to search for Karen's bones. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> she's under the yard somewhere. How long has that been down for? Do they know? Which? Yeah. Well, how's, how long have we been down? Probably since day one, uh, 250 or 260 years. <laughs> Sorry. They're going to have a four o'clock, but uh, behind closed doors, uh, which is a bit of a bit of a nuisance, unfortunate for us. But there we are. I was uh, kind of tempted to come back out, but I thought, you know what, at the end of the day, it's not really going to help anyone. It, it was pretty bad, wasn't it, though, last night, here. Hang on. It's going to get pulled anyway, though, if it's, uh, if it's violent and anyone gets hurt. Yeah, that's good. One of the videos is 12.9k an hour. Is that a video or a short? That's a video. Flipping out, nice. But that's not, that's not monetized. I'm waiting for... I had to reach when I started this channel, really. So now that's going to give me what I need to get it monetized. So I'll be on a second monetized channel. Yeah. yeah. Why the second one, though, as opposed to putting it all on the main? No, because this stuff... 
Yeah, that's also true. Yeah, that's also true. Yeah. That's yeah, that's a good point actually. Better to separate it. Just guys, I'm literally just sort of uh, recording the passage of time, as it were, as people are going past the horses here. Uh, as mentioned, the uh, end of day will be will be behind closed gates. Um, whether or not I manage to get that at this point, anyone's guess. We'll see. It depends on how many people are here and if they actually close the gates um, or just let people get close to the front of the yard. Judging by the fact they've left the gates open, I know that's the change over the horses. Um, and also to permit the uh, the guard to his or her rounds, but everything's still in motion here as it always ordinarily is. Just a lot of uh, unusual stuff going on behind with uh, odd vehicles and uh, clean-up crews and so on. They're removing, slowly removing all the barriering along, uh, along Whitehall. Tomorrow, Monday morning, uh, I should be here. Bearing in mind we've got a, another event happening. So yeah, I should be here tomorrow morning. Yeah. Sort of cross the front image for the moment. At least we get both the horses in. See everything that's going to happen here, uh, or not, as the case may be. First time I actually noticed the lamps being lit over those central gates as well. I'm sure it isn't the first time they've been lit, it's the first time that I've been here to notice them being lit. Lovely thing to see. Don't grab the reins. <laughs> yeah, I've seen those We've videos. Seen seen videos. <laughs> uh, some of them, yeah, some. <laughs> you don't want to be, you don't want to be on YouTube. Trust me. Not wearing this. Is this really yeah. No, it's not. I mean, I'm retired. Uh, I live nearby, so I do this four mornings a week ordinarily. But this morning it was closed because of obviously yeah. the service. But it's it's very popular, exceedingly popular, especially in Commonwealth countries. We, we, we were just having a we were just having a word. Is, uh, did they shout sometimes just for the sake? <laughs> to be honest, there's a lot less shouting than there used to be, um, mainly because they had the signs repainted um, after the summer with that line at the bottom. Before it didn't say don't touch the rain, so tourists didn't know. Uh, yeah, but, but nevertheless, you still... Common sense, isn't it, really? You know, it's like walking your dog, you wouldn't grab someone else's dog's leash, would you? Same principle with the horse. Busy day, though, eh? Yeah, Very busy been, yeah, day. Yesterday was a little bit busy. Oh, yeah, yeah it certainly was. Today. A lot more quiet today, a lot more peaceful, yeah. a lot more respectful, thankfully. That's so it should be. Yep, absolutely, yeah. Good thing to see today. Oh, oh, goodness me. <laughs> Taurus wants to <laughs> take pictures with uh, letter from Brazil with the officer. Come on, guys. <laughs> there you go. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> that was actually pretty cute. The uh, Ministry of Defence Police uh, don't ordinarily uh, pose a picture with the tourists because they have automatic weapons. Uh, and plus, obviously, it means they get distracted. So, of course, tourists do ask them. Uh, but the two officers here, two police liaison officers uh, that, I was, <laughs> that I was just talking to, they agreed to, to pose for pictures. Funny. Nice guys. 
Give more of an idea now just how thin that little passageway is. People are now at the moment able to walk through the front here because there's no guard change on the way, but yeah, it's very, very narrow. That little passageway they've put in between uh, the bollards and the barriers. Bollards and barriers. Oh, lovely. Look, you just say to her son, you can go and say hello, but you must not touch the reins. You're not allowed. Mum of the award to that lady right there on the right hand side of the frame. parents explain to the kids the reason that they can't get too close. We know the majority of people don't bother explaining anything, they just uh, march up. Lorry driver gave me a little salute there to the guards. I'm busy here now, guys. Apologies for the uh, interruption. So I'll be busy up pretty fast. Oops. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, sorry guys, the uh, Russian lady in front of me, I wanted to be trying to take a picture of her friend, then she bashed her head on, on my pole, uh, at which point she suddenly realised that the camera didn't work, and that's why her friend had to go over again. Uh, I take a second chance. As if by uh, absolute perfect timing, uh, they just started to de barrier, uh, completely de barriering the front area. Right on time. So, me saying that Whitehall will be back to normal uh, tomorrow morning is looking to me right now as in Whitehall will be back to normal tonight, let alone uh, tomorrow morning. Good stuff. Big Ben. One second. What are we at time-wise? That's the uh, that's a 3:30 bell. Chiming up with uh, Big Ben up in Parliament Square. Very very clear. Easy to hear it today because there's no traffic. It suddenly got very busy. Look what happened. Look. All of these people just miraculously appeared from absolutely nowhere, uh, just as the guard is coming out to do his rounds. Luckily, uh, no tourists happen to have gotten in the way. Splendid. It's instinctively then, I was just about to fall in through the gate as uh, I'd often do. It would not have been a smart idea at all. 
put myself in the in trouble had I done that. But wow. The eternal popularity, eh? Oh. Yep, eternal popularity. I'm still pretty sure, unless something dramatic... Oh, hold on. They're opening the back gates. There is a small chance we might have a full accessible four o'clock. It's, it's a good 50-50 at the moment. If they finished over at the back, it was a, something with the Welsh cards. They've opened the back, I think maybe, maybe. Yep, let's see. Be great actually, and, and super appropriate uh, to, to capture that last four o'clock inspection, um, because some of the troopers that we're going to see today will not be back this year, uh, including, as I mentioned earlier in the video, uh, the corporal of horse that is on duty here today. Awful lot of people on the front here now. It really, really got suddenly very, very packed. The ironic if uh, if there is a, a full four o'clock inside in the yard, uh, and yet there's no space to to be able to record it. So we will see, folks. They smile, super content people, just happy that it ends up getting done. I'm not sure exactly why uh, the chap's waiting to go through the gate with a push chat. I guess they might just be confirming whether they're going to open up access through to uh, horse guards, parade at the back and then the mow a little bit further, just beyond. If they do, we're going to be in luck, people, because it will mean that they will, we'll be able to film inside the, the yard for that inspection. And obviously that will be ideal. <laughs> How happy does she look? afternoon is rapidly looking like a Sunday morning. Sound like uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, fine now about whether or not uh, they want to get pictures with the horse. Some of them are shy. It's quite a sizable and no, very noticeable police presence actually on Whitehall. It's a view that I very rarely film, in fact, uh, looking across the front here. 
So I'll stay like this if and until uh, people are coming up to pose with the horse to my left. I'm definitely starting to think that they're going to reopen it uh, and reconsider that closure for the four o'clock. So the horse doesn't eat his medal. He just pissed up the sword. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what a character. Yeah, all the hats and all. It's a very, very, very unusual sight here uh, on special occasions like today. Typical uh, English eccentricity. Oh, this guy just marching as if he's going to go through straight to the gate. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Enthusiastic people, look, everyone can't wait to get in. It seems they've just finished up on the parade ground behind. I don't know if they'll be done in, uh, in time. Bearing in mind, we've only got 20 ish minutes uh, until the horses will be taken off anyway. It's going to be very tight. It's like you know you want to watch me at the uh, inspection. You know what, horsey? You're right. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, brilliant. I can tell they've had a good afternoon. Uh, I was hoping the other, <laughs> other funny chap uh, was going to come along. Brilliant. That's how they've had a good day. And probably, probably a good afternoon as well. I think actually, uh, depending on how it looks, that uh, a super friendly uh, veteran uh, will probably end up being the thumbnail for this video, which will in all probability uh, be in two parts, still deciding, let's see, maybe, maybe not, I might actually combine the two pieces. There was a brief interruption when, uh, when I had to speak to somebody when those protesters walked by earlier with the Union flags. You can't touch the horses. It's not actually true. Top man. Is that by horsey? He's saying to his daughter. Very sweet. Notice everyone's really behaving themselves today. Long may that continue.
Looking the other way there. Boom. Nevertheless, everybody that gets a picture near or with the horse looks looks delighted, beaming smiles. 15, 16 minutes, folks, uh, until four o'clock. So still got no idea what they're going to do. Uh, it looks to me actually as though they've reclosed those back gates at the end of the tunnel. So it really does appear as though the four o'clock will be behind closed gate, uh, gates after all. I think you've noticed that the uh, the back gates have been left open on the on the box. behind me stopping taking pictures and so on but not actually getting up close uh, given the fact that we're not terribly uh, far from dusk it's not really surprising oh wait I've noticed that the uh, the door on the box in fact hasn't been hooked back the hinge that's why it's sort of flapping a little bit so they said locked it and it came unlocked, so they forgot to lock it and it's blown itself closed. The signs are remarkably straight today as well. <laughs> That's the exact 45 minute bell folks, so we are super close. His final rounds only of the day, but of this weekend. I wonder to be honest, the fact that everyone is here. 
the same time, it's, uh, it's so quiet. I've just noticed something interesting behind me as well. I don't know what this is, but I'm just uh, standing silently here opposite the horses. Absolutely no idea at all uh, how this is related to horse guards, the horses, or, or the guards, but there we have it. In a minute, I'm sure there's going to be some tourists that stop to get pictures with, uh, <laughs> with the man in the mask. watching but thinking the same thing I'm thinking like what uh, what's the point the wrong place wrong time but uh, yeah there we are I, I will turn back if, if we get some tourists <laughs> posting for pictures <laughs> they're all taking pictures look <laughs> so far no one's actually yet decided to, to roll up to get a picture with the uh, with our lovely fellow here Oh, is this a real person or? No, well, it definitely is. <laughs> and it's off. Oh, actually, maybe it's a she. I have no idea. In fact, whether it's a guy or a girl. It's a very, very peaceful and eccentric one, one man protest. <laughs> is it a girl or a guy? I think it was safe. But here, it's just like, what's the point? <laughs> no one's going to care here. Very, uh, very peculiar, guys. It's when you think uh, you've seen every kind of eccentricity here. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a lone protester, a lone free Assange protester who's walking now toward Downing Street. But massive respect for them for uh, for doing what they believe in, but at the same time, it's just a little, I don't know, odd, you know. Why here of all places uh, is what I'm wondering. <laughs> I have no idea. I really, really have no idea. Hey, hey just out of interest, what, why here? Why are horse guards? Are you allowed to speak or you can't speak? Okay. <laughs> Respect anyway, okay? <laughs> no, he uh, or she can't speak. Uh, he or she shook their head. Uh, but perfectly friendly. I don't think, or I can't think of a, a single reason. I'm guessing. Okay, I mean, this, this place is representative of the monarchy, of the crown, but at the same time, the crown is not responsible for uh, the treatment of, uh, of Julian Assange. Very, very curious. I mean, I guess, yes, the crown prosecution services, but that's a different, a different entirely to the crown itself. I'm not sure if, uh, if he or she figured that out, but they seem pretty chill. Please, so keeping a good eye on them anyway. I'm pretty sure, um, in that very brief, momentary word, uh, that it's a, it's a chap, not a lady. A chap with very long hair, or a chap with a wig. Okay, it's exactly ten minutes to four now, folks, so we're, uh, we're super close to what might well be an end of day inspection, but uh, I'm pretty sure having uh, closed the gates at the back that they will not be reopening it for the inspection.
Who the, the Russian speakers are on to? That's one thing I have for us on the bit of a lot of Russian speakers. Can't think why. Suddenly, uh, noticing how busy is at one end, come back, it's even busy at the other end. No, nope, I thought that was the uh, free Assange person, but no, it's not. Notice the little ninja is back. Try again. Yeah, these people are noticing the placard, uh, but the, the fellow carrying it is doing a great job of, uh, <clears throat> of remaining invisible. Okay, so they're telling everybody to move back before the horses, uh, who are now being taken off. This girl obviously didn't get the memo, so she's about to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's another one. <laughs> Off we go, that is uh, duty done for the weekend here at Horse Cards. Most certainly are holding up behind closed gates, as you can see. Firmly behind very closed gates. I think, to get our options, um, I think this is going to be the very best spot I can get people for the, uh, for the inspection. It should get a reasonably clear picture. Let's see. <laughs> First time I've ever filmed it, uh, not only in this position, folks, but um, with the gates closed. Most curious. It's exactly five minutes to uh, to four. 
Absolutely solid along the front of the gate, so there's not a single spot. So pretty glad that I darted forward so quickly. We know 100% though, folks, that the, uh, the gatesman on the left got out of the frame. I can't believe the camera anymore. Gatesman on the left will not be shouting at anyone. Here come the troopers. Oh, and it's starting to rain as well, folks. What a surprise. One minute to four. Ah, female caps and guys today.
Spot's growing on me, actually, people. It's not a bad spot to film it from at all. <laughs> no idea how old, uh, how well we'll be able to hear these commands, the verbal commands, uh, in a minute or so. I've never actually filmed it from this far away. If anything, the captain's voice is more amplified by the fact there are no tourists and soft objects inside the courtyard. <laughs> Extraordinarily clear, actually. A quick inspection of the horses, um, those final verbal commands, and that is an end to Sunday and this week here at Horse Cards. You hear the, uh, the bands playing at the back on the parade. Lights there, people, eh? The lights over there in the stable area. <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. That was not an easy thing to film at all. And now let me show you why. If you take the phone back through the gate, get ready, you'll be shocked about how busy it is. Look at this, look. This is how many people are, are here at the front. Completely solid. Feel free, it's the Prime Minister's. Uh, motorcade just leaving a long white hole. Yeah, a huge number of people all sandwiched up against the uh, the front. I mean, I didn't get it super closely, but at least I got it uh, in full, including those verbal commands. So, yeah, I'm happy, folks. That's the main thing. And notice, uh, as we finish up, how wonderful the lighting is. That is, just to confirm again, a lot of you know, but for anyone that doesn't, 
That is London's newest five-star hotel. It's uh, Raffles. The building was uh, the old war office. Glorious old war office. It's now a Raffles. London's, or one of London's most expensive hotels, in fact. This building, along with uh, the new peninsula near Hyde Park Corner. It's a glorious building, and they've done a super job, uh, not only with the exterior, but with the, the exterior lighting as well. Very subtle, uh, to me, pretty classy actually. A lot of, unlike, sorry, a lot of the new hotels that have opened in London, uh, which are rather, that's what we're looking for. Uh, rather less sophisticated. The command you're hearing inside the gate, it's the, uh, the NCO retrieving the very last guard, that being the gatesman. Now retrieve the chitsman and then boom, they are done for the day. There we have it folks. Stable gates are closed as well for the last time this week. The only thing left to happen here this afternoon, and that will happen in two minutes, five minutes, 30 minutes, whenever they get round to it, uh, is for the trooper, a trooper, to come out and take down the signs. Yep, beware. Horses may kick or bite, don't touch the reins. Thank you. Oh, and as if by magic, look at this. Who could it be? <laughs> Look at this, absolutely by magic. <laughs> From Cheeky Trooper. I wonder if he forgot about the sign. Hmm. One second. He's going to go and close the other box now. Uh, I know this trooper well, so... <laughs> I'm going to tease him about the signs, wait. Evening Trooper, I'm going to turn the camera away. Is anyone taking the signs down? I'm doing that now. Oh, you're going to yeah. do that? <laughs> We're doing it in a very meticulous way. Uh, I way. wonder if, if a certain person is going to leave them up for... Uh, for uh... Absolutely. Yeah, exactly that. <laughs> smart, smart. Okay, right. Anyway, he's coming back in just, uh, just a minute, guys, to do the signs. <laughs> I moved the camera away because you... Uh, you all know who he is anyway. Uh, <laughs> that was a semi-private chat. All right, here he comes. Wait. <laughs> the toys don't run through the gate when he comes out. How far are we up for the Finito. Let's hope he doesn't drop it, guys. Uh, but to be honest, even if he did, uh, I don't think I would. Uh, I wouldn't put it on the channel. I wouldn't do it to him. If, uh, if the sign fell on the floor and smashed, yeah, I'd feel. Uh, I feel way too guilty. Well done. <laughs> uh, he's a super, super nice guy, that trooper. Okay, guys, uh, we are finished. Yeah, there we are, we're done. Okay, he's got the signs, he's going to take them in, and that includes uh, our Sunday here at Horse Guards. Bingo, gate closed. Hope you enjoyed that, folks. Uh, I will be back, obviously, as ever. Uh, in the next video but from here from a glorious lantern lit evening at the front uh, i bid you good evening <laughs>